Hey guys, thanks for joining me in the kitchen tonight. So I was going to paint something different in a different style, but I had a couple people ask about these modified blooms. And so I said I would do another one, a little bit slower maybe, um, and go from there. So here we go. So this is a 10 by 10 wooden cradle panel, uh, just a different substrate to paint on. I haven't done anything to it. Sometimes I prep them. This time I haven't. This is my beauty tone paint right out of the can. Nothing fancy, no additives whatsoever. And we are going to pour, obviously my table is a little lopsided. We're gonna pour in girly colors tonight, you guys, just for fun. So, I'm gonna, this is a bit bigger. I'm gonna try to do one, just one puddly, puddle blowout, uh, Violet by Liquitex. PBO, greenish blue, or bluish green, I'm not sure. They're both very similar. This one is Modern Masters Mint. It's like a metallic, it's quite pretty. I haven't used it until tonight and I don't know why I just kind of put it away and forgot about it but it's quite pretty oh here you go the best color ever you guys a little bit of Liquitex lime and what is this? this is a pearl let's add a little bit of that this is just a modern masters pearl might be a little bit light for this, but let's do it anyway. All right, some black cell mix. So I can't promise that I won't have any pyrotechnics in the kitchen. So here we go, you guys. You'll notice I have moved my paper towel in case my torch does weird things. I don't have paper and I have tin foil. All right, quick torch. Oh, and no fire. Disappointment, I know. Disappointment. All right, my friends, let's do this. Let's blow this out. So the blow out, you guys, is just as much of the technique as anything. And you can't teach that. You just have to kind of experiment. So when you see me blowing down, I'm trying to kind of blow down and out at the same time. And sometimes I make these weird like, like a chuffing noise. And it's just to kind of spread the paint a bit. So the best thing I can do is tell you to, to practice with your blowouts. Um, and it does help. So I'm gonna blow this out a little more. Hi, Katie. Hello. Hello, YouTube follower. <laughs> You're the best. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, that was my daughter who knows exactly the right time to come upstairs for some reason. Tonight was to borrow the phone. I'm gonna bring the phone back. All right, let's, uh, let's spin this out a little bit just to get our paint moving. Not a lot, just, just to kind of spread it over the board. And then we'll do some modifying. Okay, so first I need a cloth. So my modifying tool to begin with is going to be a manicure tool. Just a cheapy little wooden manicure tool, that's all, nothing fancy. We're gonna put some of this paint that I've already got lopsided back up on the cradle board. All right, put that down. So let's just do this, guys. So I don't really have a starting point. I just 
pick a point and go through it. If I have a concentration of black, I usually pick that point to drag my line through to break up the black, just like that. So as always, you know what? Thick lines make thick lines when we spread it. Thin lines make thinner lines. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I overlapped it. Not what I meant to do. But it will be just fine, I'm sure. And if not, you know what? We can definitely modify around it. Okay, let's take this, my friends, and let's spin it out. Here we go. my little wall up here. I'm going to give it a better, better spin the other way. But I had my wall that you guys can't see was down. So now my wall is up. I'm going to spin it one more time this way. And we're going to stop it there. So we have lots of lines to work with, as you can see, which makes the job of modifying that much better and that much more fun. I'm not going to worry about the sides, you guys. So if you're seeing white splotches, don't worry about it. There's actually tape on them. And I'm going to finish the sides of this wooden board, probably with a varnish. And yeah, just for a whole different look. So again, I have no rhyme or reason where I start. I just start. And I'm not going to do anything different than what we always do. We're just going to go in and we're gonna make some lines. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna go this way. Now again, I'm just using my manicure tool. So the wooden boards are a little bit different to work on because it doesn't slide as well when you're modifying. Um, it's just a bit of a different surface with the wood, obviously, uh, but it works. It works quite well. It just feels a bit different. So there's our first modification. I don't like these white dots. I don't have too many of them, but I could try to take those, that one at least out. Sometimes they pop back up, hey? Not much you can do about it. I don't mind these ones. I'll keep those ones. They add interest. So there's line one. So line two is going to come maybe from way up let's uh let's add two together let's modify this way i got i messed up my line here you guys you know there we go let's fix that right away I'm really big on crispy lines, as you know. I like solid pounded in colors and crisp lines, and it really irritates me if it's not the way I like it. And so I am a bit of a fuss budget when it comes to those things. All right, so there's my, those lines. And let's, Let's take a different modifying tool. My tools are all really fancy, really fancy, you guys. I'm looking for a toothpick. One little tiny toothpick, that's all I want. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way through. This is quite pretty, so I don't wanna do too much, but I am gonna go through it a little bit. to there I think so you can always if you I, I kind of gouged in there a little bit you can always just put a tiny bit of paint and use your paint as your eraser I guess is what I'm trying to say it's it's pretty versatile you know it will allow you to do all kinds of things flip it over turn it over see what you like and where you like it and if you like it and then just keep going, you guys. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep going.
So I think I've mentioned quite a few times, depending on how you hold your modifying tool, your toothpick, will depend the different shapes that you can make. So if you want that sort of really soft feathery look that I have in some of my other pieces, I hold my toothpick or my manicure stool manicure tool on an angle and then it just gives you a really soft look if you want a bigger line then go in it less of an angle and just drag it right through um, yeah it it doesn't sound like much but it definitely changes the outcome of the lines a lot a lot I want to get rid of some of this black, so I think I'm going to do something right in the middle of it all. I'm not sure which way though. I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, that's a good thing I did that. There's a big goopy bit right there. Ha! Huh, look at that. That was pretty yucky. We're going to tie this part all through with just a few little swirls that we're going to come down that line. I'll show you in just a minute. With my next favorite modifying tool, and I can't find it. Oh, I got it out and everything and now I've lost it. It is a little plastic kebab stick that I purchased at the dollar store, super uber cheap, and they have a little a little ball end, and it allows you to make some cool swirls. Hang on, guys. My magic toolbox of treasures are right there. All right. So again, I'm going very slow for a lady that asked specifically. So my little swirls, I used to tie in these lines because we just dragged all these lines into that and it just kind of left it in a funny place so i tie them in with some swirls and i just take the ball end of this appetizer thing and i swirl it over i i i don't try not to push right down i just kind of hover over and lift it up if it won't hold its shape come back Come back in like 20 minutes and it will hold its shape. Once the paint starts to set up, you'll be able to do what you want with it. Guaranteed. So maybe we'll just keep going. And you can do as many or as, as little as you like. I quite often do them on the edges and I'll show you. I'll put all my modification. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, techniques or things I do. I'll put them all into one piece and this will be the piece. So if you wanna make your edges a little fancier, same thing, rest it on an edge. Metallic doesn't always work as well because metallic paint is made of mica and mica will break up into particles. So it's just a little more difficult to get the mica to hold its shape the mica, the metallic to hold its shape. So rather than get frustrated, try to find a color that's not metallic to make the first twirls. And then same thing with the, with the metallics. You know, you can go back 20 minutes later when they set up and they're a lot easier to work with. And it's okay, it's okay to go back in. So some I go to the right, some I go to the left. Depends what you want to do. It's your piece, my friends. You guys all got this. You can do this. You can modify and make it pretty. Sometimes I add little dots. I'm not going to because as you can see, uh, this is pretty complicated without adding any more. I don't really think it needs it. I don't like that white dot there that keeps reappearing. All right, let's just keep going with this. Let's just keep the modifications happening here. I'm not sure where to go because there's some super pretty, super pretty areas that I don't really want to disrupt or disturb. 
Well, they might just come in here. Should we keep going? Or should we leave it at that? What should we do, you guys? Yell at me. Holler at me, holler at me. I think we need to make one more in here. We have to even that out a tiny bit. So these ones is a good example. These aren't holding their shape. And part of the reason this isn't holding its shape is because it's actually the black cell mix that's run over and close to the side. And so the cell mix is gonna interact with the white and maybe not hold the shape as well as I would like, but you just have to kind of play with it. You might not get a tight swirl if that happens and you're in black, but you know what? No one's gonna notice that but you. Guaranteed. Okay guys, I don't think I'm gonna do much more than this. Um, there's definitely lots going on this piece, lots and lots and lots, more than I normally do, but the sole purpose was to kind of walk through it all a little bit slower, which hopefully I did. I know I'm a speed talker. Um, I'm not gonna add any more. I might tighten up a few of the lines, but I won't add to them. I'll just maybe go back and make some better curls. But I'm going to remove my little barricade here from my phone. And I'll bring you guys over and show you all the details. So that's it, you guys. That was pretty easy. That's a 10 by 10 wooden cradle panel. I'll put all my recipes in the description box. Uh, which, if you're watching this and you don't know what the description box is, on your lower right hand corner of the video, you will notice there is a V. Click that V, you guys. That V will take you to a drop down description box and lots of artists put some really, really valuable resources in there. So click it. And you know what? If you don't know that that's what that is, ask. I didn't know for the longest time. I thought, where's this box? All right, my friends, there we go. Thanks so much for coming and pouring with me tonight. We did really well. I didn't I didn't almost set the house on fire. I didn't spin anything. I didn't get the tablecloth caught. I didn't do anything bad. Nothing, nothing bad at all. All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. Thanks everybody for coming to paint with me this evening. You guys are awesome. You make this all so much more fun. Thanks guys, talk soon.